Okay, this kind of gives you an idea of this little neighborhood. Some houses are completely done, some are still under construction. There's one road, and then you've got the new houses going on behind this little road as well. All right, this is the subject house. Two car garage. Party board siding, white and bright, a decent sized front yard. Love the width of the entryway. Right, come inside. The first thing you'll notice is that it does have very tall ceilings, recessed lighting. Love the premium flooring. And you've got your shiplock wall. Right to the left of the front door is going to be your two bedrooms. All right. So this one faces the front of the house with the double windows and standard closet. Then you've got your shared bath, single vanity, traditional fiberglass tub shower install. And then here's the second bedroom. All again, they all have the tall ceilings. Every room, doorway, window has the, the trim around the doors and the windows, so that's a nice upgrade. Okay. Nice big door. This is like your little entry foyer way. You'll come down. All right, and to the right here is going to be your entrance into the two-car garage. Love the ceiling that they put on the garage floor. Nice big water here. And then this door is just your utility room. Come back out. This is just like a little hallway coat closet into the main living so that's your living room dining room and kitchen combo love the tiled stone looking backsplash the quartz countertop the shaker cabinets with the soft clothes stainless steel appliances Actually got a range hood with the pot boiler water. Great farmhouse sink. Fixtures are nice. Microwave stove combo. You like a little pantry. Let's walk in so it's nice. All right. I'm gonna kind of go this way. So you can see the room from this angle of the house. All right, and right off of the living room, it's gonna be the entrance into your master and also the washer dryer room. So this is gonna be your washer dryer room. And this is your entrance into your master. To your left is your master bedroom. Got double windows, small little windows above the bed. You do have like this little entrance in here so you can shut that door and it kind of like gives you this hallway effect. And to the right, you have a traditional linen closet and then you have your master bath, quartz countertops, double vanities, Walk-in shower, tiled all the way to the ceiling with the stone floor, little seat bench and cut shelves. And then you have the toilet room. And then right off of here, it's going to be your walk-in closet. Okay, 
So I'm kind of going to step back and kind of give you an overview. So we're in this little entryway of the master. So you have your bath, closet, bedroom. And then we have our exit. Laundry room. Kitchen, dining, living room. Again, kind of give you an overlook of what it looks, the entryway, what it looks like from the living room. Nice and wide, tall ceilings. Then we'll go out to the back yard area. So you do have like a little concrete pad here. And I'm assuming that the property line ends where the sod ends. But I really don't think that there's enough room back here between the sod and the road to build another house. Like there's just not enough room for it with them having yard and setbacks and all. But I could be wrong, but I'll kind of turn around and give you guys a view of the yard in the back of the house so you can definitely fence this in i would say that you could definitely add a pool i think that there's enough room with the setbacks to probably add a a nice small pool but there you have it